make it pretty easy in this world to explore the differences that we have with each other. But I'm wondering what it would look like if we awakened to the things that we have in common, the ways that we're better together because of those differences. What would our world look like? In the new Disney Pixar release, Elemental, we get a little taste of the impact of togetherness. Today on Meet Me at the Movies Open Dialogue, we get a chance to chat with Mamadou Ache and Leah Lewis for this Disney Pixar release called Elemental. They play Wade and Ember, two creations from completely different backgrounds seeking to explore the ties that bind. Mamadou and Leah, thank you so much for joining us on Meet Me at the Movies Open Dialogue. Uh, great, to, great to have you with us. Likewise. How's it going? Thank you, No. It's good to be here. I tell you, I was a, a fan, raised a fan of stories told through animated characters um, all my life. I've been able to share that love and appreciation with my children. And today, even today, oh. I search for the messages that are told within the lives of animated characters and the joys that we find within the differences of those characters, much like uh, what we see with, with Ember and Wade. And I'd really love for you to tell me, when you think about Ember and Wade, what would you say that brings each of them pure joy and pure happiness? What does joy look like to them? Hmm. Um, you know, I think Ember's concept of joy in the beginning is much different than where she lands at the end of the film. You know, in the beginning, it's all about family and just family in a way that she thinks it's supposed to be. And it's all about protecting her life when she, you know, she's been raised in Fireland and is not a huge fan of like stepping out of that comfort zone. But, you know, by the end of the film, we see her joy start to expand because of interacting with Mamadou's character, Wade. And at the end, like, it's still that she wants to make her parents proud, but a new sense of joy is definitely in, in her courage and taking a leap and really trying to carve out her own path for herself. And this new friendship yeah. and romance that she has with Wade is also a huge joy for her. How about you? Joy with Wade is seeing people follow their bliss, you know, <laughs> he's a, yeah. a maybe corny phrase, but it's true. He's just like, you know, why like settle? Why go after things that you're not actually interested in? Why don't we just, mm -hmm. you know, live life to the fullest if we, as we only have one? Um, he, he lost his father at a relatively young age. And I think he f understands the importance of life and feeling deeply is comes naturally to him. So I, I, I love Wade because he's always looking for the positive and everything. He's looking for the uh, excitement and everything and he's well not even looking for it, he's just available to it you know and i think mm -hmm. just being available to that and, and no matter the circumstance is a really beautiful thing yeah i love that i love that now let's talk about this the joy that the two of you had working with each other uh in this uh in this project getting to know Mamadou and just, I mean, his performance on screen just reduced me to tears, but like getting to know him in person and see the person that like really rounded out Wade has been such a gift, truly. Yeah, I feel likewise, you know, I think I, um, I must have Ember. <laughs> Leah's done a wonderful <laughs> job. But it's really, it's like, you know, the center of the film. She's our, she's a lead and, and anchors the story in such too. a rounded way. And I, I, and we have a lot to thank uh pete pete sonford mm -hmm. because we didn't get to work together yeah. in this in the booth but even we can't tell because it feels so alive <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? yeah. he's such a great director and actor um you know he, he's been in a lot of your favorite animated movies and yeah it, it's it's just it's been great it's been really great and doing this tour has been wonderful too one thing I've really loved about what Pixar has done since the beginning and Disney as well is they've been able to uh, find ways to help me to learn something about myself. Uh, and, and I try to do that in any project that I watch. I, I want to learn something about myself, maybe something I didn't know or something that I can do better. So if you would both maybe talk about what you feel you've learned about yourself from being these characters uh, on screen. I I remember when I got this movie, I was in a bit of a, I mean, a bit of a funk is an understatement, but we'll leave it at a bit of a funk. Um, it'd been a really rough, I mean, I guess it'd been a really rough year for everybody, to be honest. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, working on it and getting to like just 
dive into like this kind of unbridled uh, zeal for living and life and like, you know, following your joy and, and, and just being, being happy um, really reminded me that, you know, I do have some options within like, you know, how I take in the world around me. Obviously there's a lot yeah. of difficult things going on, but I, I do have some agency with which I, I interact with the world and how I interact with people around me. Um, and that was a wonderful remind, reminder. And I, I got to thank Wade for that. I mean, Wade has definitely been teaching us all lessons. I think because we're so closely mirroring these characters' experiences as well. Like, I guess getting to step into the shoes of someone who is a bit more explosive than I am or be close to someone like Wade who just like has his heart on his sleeve. It's really showed me a lot mm -hmm. of beauty about the strength that Ember has held. And like, it just so closely reminds me. And like Mama Nu and I have been talking about this the whole tour, but just like how close we are with our parents and like what it is meant yeah. for them to champion us our whole lives. And even from Wade, like the fact that he is so open and like he leads with unconditional love. I think I've taken a lot of lessons from the way that he's kind of opened Ember up just like a little flower. And like, he's kind of done that with everyone in the film and like even Ember's self-discovery, being able to find that confidence and flip her temper into something that can actually create something really awesome. Like you see her creative flame making, um, like doing glass blowing. Like I always love that being able to kind of flip something that's not in your favor and actually turning it into your best attribute. So I've learned from everyone in this film, really. Mamadou, Leah, such a joy to spend time with you. Thank you for sharing yourselves. Thank you for sharing these characters. And I just want you to know, I appreciate who you are and what you do. Thank you. No, thank, well, thank you. you. That was kind of you. so sweet of you to say. Yeah. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Me too. Take care. For Me Be at the Movies Open Dialogue, I'm Noel T. Manning II. And if you get a chance, check out Disney Pixar's Elemental. Ah! You see? He likes it. <laughs> <laughs>